So here's another overview of some of the new modules that were released recently. Again, they are all available for free, so please consider supporting the developers. Now, the first module I want to show you is this new sequencer from OME. It has built-in patterns, built-in scales, density control. It has even a chord output. Right, I have here a couple of examples. Here, I'm already using a clock to run it. Let me unmute this already. Right, and the voice that I have here is the VCO going through some wave shaping and a delay. Right, and now here on the module itself, we can change the root note, we can change the scale. Right, we can also change the pattern and have a look here, it says pattern, for now it's 1-3-F, which means it's the first degree of the scale, the third degree of the scale, and it will go forward. Right, we have other options like 135, 146, run 357 again going forward. Right, but we have also backward and we have also at the end we have also random. Right, we can change also the octaves. Right, which is also quite cool. We can also rotate the pattern and this you can see here in the rotation. Right, so you can also add movement with this. Uh, the code we will see later on, we can change also the number of steps. Right, for now it's on 12, let's take this to 16 for example. And also change the density of the sequence, for now it's on 30%. If I take this up, let's say to about 80. Right, we get more notes. And everything has also a CV input. So for example, I have here the ADDR sequencer that I can use to uh, modulate or to sequence the octave jumps. Right, so we get something like this. Right, so it's quite easy to create melodic variation. And again, we can also generate chords. So here I'm using the chord output, which is polyphonic. In this case, it has four notes or four channels of polyphony. I'm using it uh, together with the ARP sec, so I'm arpeggiating these chords. The voice itself I have here is the FM operator. And you can see I'm using another ADDR here, in this case, to change the root note. So I'm changing the chord itself. Right, and you can see this here, you see now it's on F, now it's C, now it's G, right, so I can transpose the chord, and again this chord is being uh, arpeggiated. This just needs a nice bass, I'm using here the bass module from Sively to extract the bass note from this chord, the voice itself is the classic VCO going through some uh, filtering and a delay and I have a sub bass also Let's stay with chords and harmony and look at the next new module, Harmony 2 from Squinktronics. Also here we can easily create chords and harmonies by choosing the key and by choosing the scale or the mode from the list. Right, and again I have here a few examples. I have here the ADDR sequencer providing the pitch information and I'm using Kitchen Sync from the Squinky Labs collection as my voice. Right, so now I can activate on Harmony 2, maybe I will zoom in here, I can activate the first note. Right, and this will be just the pitch coming from the ADDR quantized to this scale, in this case C major. Right, but now I can activate the second note and already we have polyphony of two voices. And I can uh, transpose this note within the scale, within this mode. So for example, I can set it to play here. I can set it to play uh, the second degree of the scale. Right, and you can see here I have four view that will show me the notes. Right, so now it will uh, always play two notes up, but still quantized or a part of this uh, scale or mode. 
Right, I can add another note and then we have polyphony of 3 and then set this to be plus 4 and maybe even another one with plus 6 and now we have a 4 note chord We can even transpose the notes by octaves so for example I can take the first note two octaves down and then maybe the third an octave down, also the fourth. Right, so we have a sequence of beautiful four note chords all coming from one sequence, but again the harmony two will add the harmony basically. And of course, just like we've seen before, so here I can arpeggiate the chords. In this case, I'm using the arpeggiator from the same collection, which is also quite interesting. And the voice I have here is uh, Chebyshev, also from Squinky Labs. Also here I will add a bass, uh, just like I did before with a bass module from Sivli, classic VCO and a sub bass. But here I have also some weird drums, so I'm using the gate sequencer to sequence a few drum modules from Doc B, I'm using press duck from uh, CV Funk to add some character, to mix them and add some character. This is going to stare away a filter also from Squinky Labs and I have also a sort of a glitchy voice here with a bandpass filter and a delay. The next module is Synchro from CV Funk, which is a unique lock module with things like lock rotations and fill. And actually there are a few uh, more new clock modules released. So there is Ticker and Clocker 2, which are so-called um, normal clock modules with multiplications and divisions and so on. And there is also Time Lord, which lets you trigger events after a certain period of time. You can set with seconds, minutes, and even hours. Um, but in this example, I will concentrate on Synchro. Right, so here I have a sequence with a Penta sequencer. It's sequencing um, Aorus. You can see I'm using here already a clock, a multiplication of four. You just have to um, change here the multiplication or the division on the other side. Right, and you can uh, reset this externally. So this is how it will sound like. Right, but here for example I can use the first division that I have set to 1 over 8, so basically divided by 8. I can use this to trigger the direction change here on the sequencer. Right, I have here another clock division I can use to change the shape. Right, so already like this we get a bit more movement. I have here also the FM operator. For now it's receiving a clock from the one to one uh, ratio here. Right, so it's basically the main clock. I'm using a um, sample and hold just to generate random pitch information. So it will sound like this. Right, but we also have the fill function. You can see for each of them we have a fill button. So this one is for the FM operator. And this will add in this case three to the multiplication. Here you can change how much you want to add. Right, if you have three, so it will be one plus three, which will be basically four. So if I click this, it will be multiplied by four. Right, until I let go. Right, so I can use another division here. I have something interesting, 5 over 16, that I can use to bring this in. Right, and this clock has also a rotation function, right? So I can rotate, you can see the divisions and multiplications. Of course, also with control voltage, so I can use uh, the ADDR sequencer, for example, to do this for me. and get all sorts of different results. I have here some drums, so you can also use this as a, synchro a sequencer, the synchro here. Right, and I'm using this to sequence a few drum modules. Again, um, 
mixing them with breast duck. Right, I'm using the fill function here to add some movement. Maybe also a bass again being triggered from the clock. This is dark energy with a nice uh, collection of modules here and the sub bass. The next module I want to show you is Funes or Funes or Funes, uh, which is a version of Plets, but it has the new synthesis models that were introduced in the 1.2 uh, release of Plets. Right, you can see this in the right click menu. We have the pitch models, we have the percussive models, and here we have also the new synthesis models. Right, and actually this module is a part of a whole collection of new sort of mutable instruments, uh, clones that you can explore. Um, here, for example, I have I have this in the phase distortion model, which is a part of the new modules, of course. Right, I'm sequencing it with the Penta sequencer, adding some variation to the quantizer with the ADDR sequencer. Right, I have some modulation here with the sample and hold. I have here also a sort of a gated pad, and here again I'm using the new models. This is the string machine. Right, so I'm sequencing the gating with a 16-step sequencer here. It's going through a reverb, right, it's fully wet, but then I'm gating it with an envelope and a filter. Right, I have here also some glitch where I'm just uh, modulating here the models randomly. Right, so this you can also do. You have a dedicated CV input for this and it's going through a gated reverb. And I also have some drums. I'm using here three gate sequences together with traffic, which is also available in hardware, sort of a preset selector. Right, and I have a few uh, drums here, going through a filter as well. The next module I want to show you is the new envelope from Sikotzel. This is a combination of a stereo VCA and envelope that has a few interesting features like built-in velocity. It has shape control but with dedicated uh, CV control and it has also a unique inverted output and other interesting features. Right here again I have a sequence with a Penta sequencer sequencing Aorus. Right, it's going through the uh, envelope. Right, and I'm using the mod 7 here also from Sequencer to modulate the length of the envelope, the shape of the envelope, and also the level, right? So it's a sort of a tremolo effect. Right, and again, we get also the inverted output that you can see here on the scope. And this inverted version is not only inverted, it also starts from maximum, which makes it perfect for ducking. Right, so here I have, I'm sending a copy of this voice to a delay, and I'm using this inverted envelope to duck the delay whenever the voice goes up in volume, the delay, right, this will go, let me do this here, this will go up in volume, and the delay will go down in volume, giving more space to the sound. Right, so this is great uh, for ducking. Um, this envelope can also work as a function generator. We have here three modes. The second one is a function generator, so it works also with triggers, for example. Here I'm using it to create sorts of hi-hats with a noise plethora and a filter right and again i'm modulating the decay modulating the shape and also modulating the volume 
right? So we have also sorts of uh, velocity. We have also a so-called normal envelope output that I'm using here with the filter. It can also be a looping envelope, right? As you can see here, we have the third mode, which is looping, right? So you trigger it once and it will just continue on looping. And it has also an end of, uh, end of um, cycle sort of end of stage trigger output for each of the stages, right? So in this case, I'm using the end of decay to trigger random voltage that is then modulating the times or the looping times, right? So we get a sort of a Krell-like envelope. And this is also a sequencing a voice that I have here with two uh, VCV VCOs, right? So a sort of a generative voice. It's also quite fun to cascade a few of the envelopes, right? So I have here three envelopes, right? One, two, and three. And you can see the end of decay of the first one is triggering the second envelope. Its end of decay is triggering the third envelope. And its end, uh, end of decay is triggering back the first envelope. So we have a three envelope loop. Basically, each one of them will trigger the next one until it goes back again. Right, and this, the result I'm mixing, as you can see here, and I'm using it to control here dark energy. Right, you can see the result here also on the scope. Maybe I can offset it a bit. Right, of the three envelopes, and I have different times set on the envelopes. But I'm also using the first one, again, it's a combination of VCA and envelope, so I'm using the first one with the classic VCO. So this is controlling only this voice as a sort of a bass with a sub-bass. So I know I said just five modules, um, but there is also a new reverb from Sapphire, and there is no chance that I'm not going to showcase a reverb. And this reverb is called Galaxy, and it's actually a clone of the Galactic Reverb from the Air Windows module. If you are not familiar with the Air Windows uh, module, there are um, tons and tons of effects that you can use here. This is a sort of a multi-effect module that is highly, highly recommended. So the Galaxy module is a sort of a clone of it, of the not of the module of the galactic uh, reverb um right and it sounds quite nice i have here just the fm operator right and there are all sorts of different uh, mo um, things here so replace for example is letting new information in before the buffer clears itself. If you take it all the way down, it will sort of freeze the, freeze the buffer. There is also, of course, brightness. There is also detuning. It can also be quite nice, and of course, size. It's not called Galaxy for nothing. Right, so again, a new reverb. Um, that's it. I hope you will go and explore some of these modules. Thank you again for watching. Cheers.